And I was not allowed to tell anyone I was Jewish. And somehow I did never let go of my weapon. He hit the enemy. Okay. I, I remember the feeling that it left. I had an experience on December 22nd, I recall, during the bulge. It was kind of unwieldy. We ran into a German patrol, quite a large one, and we were able to kind of neutralize them. And I had to take some prisoners back to uh, the command post, which was around the Duchess of Luxembourg summer castle. And this lieutenant said to me, Coyle, he said, get rid of them. And I wasn't sure whether I heard him right mm -hmm. when he said, get rid of them. What did he really mean? He says, take them back and get rid of them. Well, I took about 14 uh, prisoners back, hands up, me behind them. And the thought crossed my mind, did he really want me to do anything? But I took them back and, they, and uh, I thought if I, if I uh, killed them, I would have been court-martialed. But I read later on, and maybe you heard about this, that massacre in Malmody. Mm -hmm where, you know, the Germans just lined up and massacred a hundred field artillery troops mm -hmm. with no compunctions at all. And it crossed my mind, did I do the right thing? Or if I'd known then, would I just opened up and left 14 on, uh, of them on the ground? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I wrestle with it once in a while, but after that Malmody massacre, all, they say all bets were off. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't there, but... Uh, that was something that I thought about with those prisoners.